Dear friends and family, we have come together today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love. Katie and Scott, you two met in Madison shortly after graduating. You soon became tennis partners, board game adversaries, ultimate Frisbee teammates, and most significantly, friends and loving companions. Katie, you look so lovely tonight. Scott, unfortunately, you still look like a Burlingham. One night, Scott had an amazing idea to do flaming shots and set not only the shots on fire, but the entire coffee table. This was the first time that I started to truly understand what Scott brings to the table. Fire. <laughs> Literally fire. I don't have the words to say how proud I am of you and how happy it makes me that you found someone as awesome as Katie to share your life with. And Katie, I want you to know that I will always be rooting for you to win every board game, pickleball match, and argument the two of you may ever have. We are so excited for your future together. And Scott, we want to officially welcome you to our family. And what better way than going to a Hanson concert this Sunday night at the Sylvie? <laughs> Me. Hi. Hi. Hey, you look nice. Yeah, you look great too. Oh. All right, well, I think it's happening. <laughs> Dr. Katie Marie Anderson. I'm so happy that you came over and asked to dance when I was getting my groove on solo on the dance floor. But the fact that out of the hundred odd people there, only you came and uh, introduced yourself. <laughs> Probably means it was something else. <laughs> Whatever that could be, I don't know, but I'm forever grateful that you did. It's wild to think this started with us as 22 year olds just trying to figure out what to do with our lives. I remember the first time we met, you were going on and on about your Snapchat under the name Scotty B Money. <laughs> and you <laughs> And you told me to follow you, and I replied with, you're weird. And you looked at me shocked. I added, no, that's good. I like weird. <laughs> so here we are, eight years later, after I said those words, and you're still weird, and I still like it. <laughs> you have been so great throughout my ridiculous journey to become a doctor. I can't imagine doing it without your love and support. I love you, Scott, and I love you more now than I did before. <laughs> and I'm so proud of you. to love you through all of life's ups and downs, to say it every day through this short time that we are apart, and then even more once we are together for good. I vow to make you laugh when times are easy, and to be extra hilarious when times are tough. <laughs> I vow to support you, to advocate for you, to kiss you, to hug you, no matter what and no matter where this journey takes us. And finally, I vow to make our house a loving home for you, for me, for Nala, and for any other residents we choose to have in the coming years. <laughs> for as long as I live. Love you, sweetie. You may now kiss.
It gives me great pleasure to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Scott Burlingham and Dr. Katie Anderson. Just like to really, really thank everyone. Boy, what a what a joyful moment to have everyone here celebrating with us. Scott, I've gotten to know, and uh, in the first year, we're like, who is this guy? You know, like Katie said, he's kind of goofy and weird. <laughs> it, Scott is tenacious, a hard worker. He lives by his beliefs, and he really makes Katie happy. And what more could a father ask for? We're so happy she has so many wonderful qualities. And I just have a list of a few that I'd like to. <laughs> Katie, you are truly uh, everything that we could wish for, for our son. Scott and Katie. All right. Yeah.